Hi folks, Edward Hayden here, uh, joining you again as part of the Agri-Aware Cookery Demonstrations. So hopefully you're in good form. Today what I'm going to make for you is I'm going to make some gorgeous beef burgers. Now these are ideas for all of the family, and again of course as we know families on farms are very busy at this time of the year. So this is a nice, quick, simple, handy uh, meal that can be prepared, or also as a friend of mine does for her uh, husband and sons when they're working hard in the field, she might run out uh, to them with this. So this is something that can be transported and kind of turned into a nice little outdoor family picnic quite easily. Now, so what I've got here is I've got some minced beef, okay? So I'm using Word Be Equality Assured minced beef. And again, with that in mind, we know that all the kind of the high standards of traceability can be employed and also it has been tested really well. So it's nice, good quality uh, Irish beef to start off with. Then to that, I'm going to add three binding ingredients. So what I've got is I've got some lovely fresh white breadcrumbs, which will dry up any of the fat. As any of the fat goes to escape from this, it'll dry it up. And where we have the retention of fat, we have the retention of that really good flavour. I'm then going to use an egg, so I'm going to crack one egg into there as well. I'm also going to use some cheese. So I've got a little bit of lovely Irish cheddar, or you could use Parmesan or mozzarella if you want, a bit of grated cheese, which will melt together really nicely. So those are our three binding ingredients which will help to gel that together. Next then what I've got, I've got my flavouring. So obviously I'm going to put a nice bit of salt and pepper onto those, just like so. Then I'm going to add some onion. Now the onion type that I'm adding is I've got some chopped scallions or some chopped spring onions that I'm going to pop into those and they'll just give a nice sense of colour. I've also got some lovely freshly chopped parsley, just like so, or whatever herb you have. And I've also got a little bit of um, chilli sauce or chilli jam or chutney of choice as well. So pop all of that uh, in there. Okay, and that just gives a nice little bit of flavour uh, to that as well for you. So we'll just get rid of that. So what I'm going to do then is, as you can see, I've got the gloves on, and this is a kind of a hands-on type of job. So I'm just going to get in there and give that a nice good mix around, just like so, just to make sure that everything is properly combined. Now this is a very versatile recipe, so I'm using it for burgers uh, today. But what you might decide to do is you might decide to use it and turn it into meatballs, or you could stick that whole mixture down into a two pound loaf tin and bake it at 170 for about an hour and 10 minutes and you've got a fabulous meatloaf uh, as well which can be served either hot or cold. Okay, so that's all nicely mixed just like so. So I'm just going to take a nice good big handful of the burger because I want to have a nice good meaty sized burger, that man sized burger if you like. And I'm just going to roll it just like so and then I'm going to just flatten it down. I don't want to flatten it too much because I want there still to be a little bit of uh, depth to it. A bit tiny, a little bit less. Uh, I want there still to be a little bit depth to it so that it's not all crust, there's a nice meaty centre to that burger. So shape that really nicely. The gloves will help you to shape it. And then I'm going to pop that out onto my tray, just like so. And you can see that my tray is lined with parchment paper. Now you can either fry these burgers and finish them off in the oven, or what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to cook them in their entirety in the oven. So I'm just pop off those and we can finish those a little bit later on. Um, so what I'm going to do is put my hands in the wash. With this then I'm just going to um, pop them straight into the oven. And as I said, if you wanted you could um, pop them uh, into the oven after pan frying them first. So I'm going to pop those into the oven, 180, 350 gas mark for, for about 20 minutes or thereabout. And I've got some gorgeous burgers in the oven already, which we're just going to have a little look at. And you can see that they look really nice like that. And see what I mean about the fat? There's no kind of big layer of fat having cooked all of those. So those are really nice. Uh, also as a garnish, I've just had a little bit of uh, crispy bacon. So I'm just going to start assembling those really, really nicely. So to assemble them, what I've got is I've just got a few little relishes and a few little bits and pieces here. So um, I've got a little board to start them on. I've got some lovely toasted buns. I've literally just toasted these just before we started uh, the video. So you can just see that they're just nice and crisp. Okay, pop the base of those on. I'm then going to use a lovely little bit of sweet chilli mayonnaise. This is just mayonnaise mixed with some of that sweet chilli sauce that we had a little bit earlier on. So just spread that on just like so, just nice and generously. Then I've got some lovely salad leaves. So just got some gorgeous baby salad leaves. Again, board be uh, assured. A little bits of baby spinach and bits of chard. So just some nice little baby uh, leaves. 
layer those up just like so. Plenty of colour. And then what I've got is I've got some nice thinly sliced tomatoes. So I'm going to pop some of those on there as well. I'm going to pop maybe two or even three pieces of tomato on depending as you wish. Then we've got our lovely beef burgers. Just like so. Pop those up on top. Then we've also got some of our crispy bacon, so that gorgeous crispy bacon. So this, you see what I mean now about it being that man-sized burger? Uh, also what I have here is some homemade red onion marmalade or a little bit of uh, sauteed onions would be fine as well. That's just some gorgeous red onion marmalade which I've made with red wine vinegar, uh, red wine sugar and onions, just like so. And then I'm just going to uh, place Little tomatoes here, little nice tomatoes onto a little stick, and we've got our remaining bun going on the top of those as well, just like so. And then this one, we might just put a different colour tomato, pop that on, just like so, and we could even leave that to the side there as well. So that is our fabulous beef burgers. Okay, they're the man sized beef burgers, some lovely sweet chili mayonnaise and perfect uh, for all busy farm families at the time. So hope you enjoy cooking those and uh, let me know how you get on.